What is up? Okay, this has been running for a couple of days out here, just sitting in my garage, and it is holding time true now. 8.48. You ready to flip up over to 8.49. Of course, the time on there is 8.49. So, and that's pretty much how it was. It was just so many seconds behind the computer. It says the... So this is how I've it set up right now. Got the time, the day, which is today is Tuesday. Water heater is on. That's the status. I think over here in this upper right corner, I'll have the temperature because I'm going to clamp a probe to the water heater. Have this regulate the uh, temperature. And then what I'm going to do is crank the thermostats and the water heater as high as I go as a fail safe. And also for my, uh, maybe a secondary temperature. I don't know. I might do it with this. But basically have this regulate the temperature of kind of a moderate setting, you know. For energy savings, and then when somebody wants to take a bath or somewhere they want that hot water, be able to hit a button mo on the mode button, and maybe for 30 minutes it's gonna it'll dr set the water heater to a higher setting. All from inside the house. The wife will like that, <laughs> so that'll be cool. So I got to add you know a couple connections uh, for the sensor for one of the analog inputs to measure temperature there. Turn off the light here. You can see the flashing heartbeat. And then, uh, so basically, everything's running off this 24 volt transformer for testing purposes because I want to just be able to wire 24 volts into this right from the stealing the power off the thermostat, which will be next to this on the wall. 24 volts coming in, as I showed on the last video, um, rectifying it to, you know, 20 something volts DC, switching circuit here with the coils regulating a precise 5 volts DC which feeds the chip and the relay and everything. Relay will switch to 24 volts out to go turn on the contactor out here in the garage for the water heater and timer box. Um, so I'll just have to connect a few things, connect my buttons, just solder on some wires to some buttons that are on the front panel, mount this to the front panel and it's done. And it's actually ready to go right now. I could just use it the way it is. It's actually I could already go through and set the on and off times and set the clock and everything, and it's already switching the relay output and everything accordingly. But I want to add that temperature and the override, you know, so if we want to bump it on during the, you know, during the day for some reason, even over in that peak time, you know, if we want to run the water heater for some reason, I want to be able to just hit a button and it'll just bring it on for like 30 minutes and shut itself back off. So look at the program now. Okay, here's the program as it sits. I got it cleaned up kind of. Okay, got all my defines for the processor running it at a big scream at 8 megahertz. <laughs> it's pretty typical for these. Got my defines for the LCD there at the top. All my other variables defined right there. You know, ports and stuff that I want to input. I want to call it, just simply name them button 1 and button 2 and relay and things like that. Got a interrupt handler which is written in assembly, which is what you got to do to make uh, that run precise. Basically, wherever my program is, whenever it gets a, a pulse coming from the 60 hertz pulse you saw before, this it'll interrupt, stop whatever it was doing, and jump to this interrupt handler, go through here, check, uh, basically, uh, check the status bit, you know, interrupt flag, yep. So it's going to go down to the add time, and all it's just increment, you know, the clock variable by one, and then just, you know, put the saved status registers and everything from what it was interrupted back into the registers they belong in and return to the operation where it was before. That happens 60 times a second and in between each of those events happening the rest of the program is doing what it needs to do. Got more defines right here. Setting the tri-state registers is what they're supposed to be. Here's where the program starts. This is in PIC Basic Pro. So Anybody that grew up on basic language like I did, it looks all familiar, which is good for me. The assembler is a lot harder, but I know enough to get myself in trouble with that. So, got my little routine. It just runs from here to uh, basically here most of the time. A thousand times, and then every thousandth time, you know, right here it's just looking and incrementing the, whenever that clock um, rolls over. You know, it adds a second, minutes, hours, days. Every thousandth time, it'll go ahead and run the other subroutines, which is basically down here displaying on my LCD. So, I'm going to send out a command 
uh, two decimal numbers of the hour, two decimal numbers of the minute, two of the second, um, and then move it over that many spaces. It's going to put it's going to put the day of the week, which it has to run a lookup to a lookup table, or so I'll go sub all the way down here lookup table. Take S, then U, then N, if it was Sunday, M, O, N, whatever day of the week, like right now it's Tuesday. So it takes one letter at a time and just puts it T, U, E, after that part where the clock is. It's just the way you have to do it so it can have a variable there. And this is just one part, as you see right here, depending if the contact is on or off. Basically, it's also looking at the, comparing the clock's hour to the hour on and hour off, which is what I've called my variables for my timer settings. I'm gonna go on at 7 p.m., go off at 12 p.m. or whatever, you know, to avoid that 12 to 7 p.m. high-priced electricity. <laughs> Water heaters off. So right when it, like, hits 7 o'clock or 7 or 12 o'clock, you know, see, I have it set for that. And as soon as the second hits zero, that way that's the only time it compares it, we'll turn the relay on. And then basically, uh, the next day at 12, it's going to turn it off or whatever it's set for. Except for days 0 and 6, which is Saturday and Sunday, or I should say Sunday and Saturday, uh, it, the contactor's on all day. And then it, there's the, where it's going to spell that out. All my clock set subroutines where I just jump to if I hit the mode button and want to go through that. So setting my hours, setting my minutes, the days, and then setting the timer on and timer off. Then that was that lookup table should do. So there will be uh, more added to that later when I want to add uh, displaying the temperature and in a couple more modes to uh, basically go to a, the standard temperature setting or the higher one for when we want maybe a really hot bath or something. So when I get a chance after work, I'll piddle with it a little more, and that'll be continued in another video.